I have 51 pieces of clothing in my year-round capsule wardrobe. But while knowing this helps me keep in check my desire to buy more, it's just a number. We're gonna dive into every piece in my wardrobe, but before we do, I wanted to share with you two extremely helpful experiments that I did in order for me to downsize over 90% of my clothes. So these are two things that you can think about as you're going to the store. The first thing I tried was when I went to the store and I found something I really liked, but not necessarily on my list of things I needed. I'd put it in my cart and then I'd have to do a whole nother tour around the store before I left. I wasn't allowed to just run to the cash register and check out. I had to spend at least 10 more minutes in the store thinking about whether I really needed it. So when I wanted to take it up a notch, I tried a different experiment. And with this experiment, I decided that if it wasn't on my list, I could pick it up and look at it, but then I had to put it down. I wasn't allowed to put it in my cart. And while this was so hard, I just wanted to know if I had enough self-control to put that thing away and be able to really sit in my feelings. What I found at the end of this experiment is that after I put the object down within about two to three minutes, maybe even less sometimes, I would forget the object altogether and I would be on to the next thing. My brain could not keep that object in the front of my mind while I had a list and other things going on. Nine times out of 10, by the time I got to my car, it was completely forgotten if I had still been thinking about it in the store. Our brains can only hold so much information at one time, and if it wasn't top priority, it was already out and on to the next. If you want to or have tried these experiments at home, put a comment below because I would love to hear about your journey as well. All right, friends, now let's look at every piece in my capsule wardrobe. Sweaters are my favorite thing to wear on our crisp Virginia mornings. This first one is cream and soft. Then I have a more mustard colored sweater, which oddly enough is one of my favorite colors. I also have this beautiful white sweater with some embroidery and beads that my daughter likes to call my fancy sweater. And recently I just received this hoodie from my sister-in-law for my birthday. It's from Aerie and it's very soft and oversized, so it's great for crisp mornings when you have to run out quickly but still look put together. I have three basic long sleeve tops. I look for tops that are versatile and that can work with all the rest of my layers. So the first one is white and stretchy and a little bit longer. And then I also have a black top, which I had two very similar, but I got rid of the one that was tighter and uncomfortable. So this black one is loose. And then I also have a tighter black one that I wear when I go out at night or if I'm going to something special because you can easily dress this one up or down. I buy most of my t-shirts at thrift stores because often, though they are the most used item in my wardrobe, people get rid of them almost untouched. I recently got two new t-shirts to replace old ones, which include this white t-shirt, which is a soft, loose cotton, and this striped L.L. Bean top, which still had the original tags on it when I found it in the thrift store. I also have one tank top, which I wear on warm nights or under my button-down shirts. Last, I have two v-neck shirts. One's black and one is gray. They're both from Loft and they're very versatile under any layer I have. Having a few layering button-down tops is key to pulling together a year-round capsule wardrobe. I have a linen white short sleeve button-down from Banana Republic that is great for warm summers. I feel like it adds a layer of sophistication to any outfit. I also have a long sleeve linen button down top that I pair with my white tank top or just wear on its own as a light layer on cool evenings. One of my favorite pieces is this short sleeve jean top because it's incredibly soft and I think the color is beautiful. I believe it's from Loft but I know I got it from the thrift store. A fall wardrobe wouldn't be complete to me without a jean button down. I love an all denim outfit. So I often pair this top with my jeans or throw it over another top or a dress on a cool evening. Bottoms like jeans and pants often were a sore subject for me. I found I was always looking for the perfect pair of jeans to make me feel comfortable with my thighs and my hips. What I found is if I didn't like me, no pair of blue jeans was going to change that. As I threw out the old jeans, 
so did the idea that I needed to look like anyone other than myself. When it comes to jeans now, I have a pair of light flare jeans that I got from Loft that are very high-waisted and comfortable for all times of the month. I also have a more formal pair of flared jeans, which are dark, that I got at a thrift store not too long ago, but they also are high-waisted and very comfortable. Another pair of my favorite pants are these mom jeans, which I got from J. Crew Factory a little while ago. They're very comfortable, and I find that these are the pair I reach for the most. I also have a burnt orange pair of trousers, which are wide leg and loose, great for summer and spring and into fall. Another go-to for me are my black leggings that often I pair with a black top and my black vest, which you'll see soon. I find them comfortable for all activities, and that's what I really look for in a capsule wardrobe, something that can be versatile. For my warm weather bottoms, I have a few varieties. I have a pair of jean shorts, which I get one size larger for comfort. I also have a pair of biker shorts that I wear with oversized shirts in the summer and a skirt that has shorts underneath, so it's also great for hiking or gardening, which is my favorite activity. Jackets are something in my wardrobe that have evolved over time, and while I'm not completely happy with what I have now, I do think it's a good representation of the climate that I'm living in in Virginia, and while it is temperate, we do have all four seasons. I have a jean jacket, which is a kid's extra large at Target, which matches my love for the jean material. I have a green fuzzy jacket, which is heavier for our cooler mornings, and a black long vest, which is from Athletica. My husband got it for me a few years ago for Christmas, and I've absolutely loved it. It's been worth every penny. Something I'm not sure is going to stay around forever, but I am enjoying it right now, is this green long jacket. It's from Athleta also, but I got it at a thrift store, and I thought it would be waterproof, but it's not really, and so that is something that I'm looking to change in the future. And last, I have a very large oversized brown coat that I got last year. While working as a teacher, I was put on car rider duty, and so I had to be outside in all weather, and having an extra long, warm coat came in handy. While I think accessories can bring a minimalist outfit together, I do pick my accessories carefully. I once had over 20 necklaces and countless earrings and bracelets that I would never wear, so now I keep all my bracelets and earrings in this small glass container and I hang my two necklaces on a hook I got from Target. I like to add a splash of color like you see on this Kendra Scott necklace. It's simple and yet I feel very elegant. This long white necklace I have had for many years, but it has stood the countless purges because it's timeless and simple. I wear this tiny gold band every day. My mom gave it to me out of her jewelry and to me it perfectly exemplifies the lifestyle I have worked to create that is effortless and minimal. This, of course, is my wedding band. I remember being asked and telling my husband I wanted a piece that could stand the test of time and never look dated, which I think he hit right on the head. When it comes to bracelets, I received this gold bracelet a few years ago, and I love the message, enjoy the journey. I have had this Pandora bracelet since I was married, and now I wear it mostly without the charms. Earrings have always been my favorite accessory, with these simple gold hoops having the most wear out of all of them. The Kendra Scott statement earrings I have, I love to wear on dressier nights. The color is just beautiful, and with my very simple wardrobe, they make a big statement. These light pink Kendra Scott earrings, I love as well for their simplicity and their elegance. They can go with everything I have, while also making a splash of color. I bought these pink studs when I also bought the necklace that matches, and they satisfy my need for color in my wardrobe. I think the beautiful thing about an earring is that it not only brings the focus up to your face, but it can also add some fun to what could be a very simple outfit. The last accessory I have is this simple black belt that easily pulls together any outfit. This dress is a recent purchase at our local thrift store, but it is a definite love. 
It is from the brand Moomoo and it can be worn low in the front or turned around to have a deep V in the back, making it simple and appropriate for all occasions. Decluttering shoes is a hard one for me. Finding the right shoe that can be both adaptable for multiple occasions takes time. I have found that buying quality brands can extend the life of your shoes years beyond buying cheap Amazon knockoffs. These Ugg boots are from the boys department, but they are used for both hiking, gardening, walking, and just mowing the lawn. I have these simple white tennis shoes, which I've already washed once, but they are easy to fit in any outfit. A good rule of thumb is that if you have shoes with dust on them, they can be decluttered first. Having pajamas at all is new for me. Before my brother moved in, I would often wear my husband's shirts around the house without care. Now that my brother lives here, I obviously started looking for pajamas that I could double as lounge wear, or if I was in a rush, I could wear to drop my daughter off at school with still looking semi put together. My husband recently bought this set for me at TJ Maxx, and I have to say I'm converted. These are soft and stretchy, and on days I'm editing videos or writing, I never take them off. Finally, I have a beautiful wool hat and a pair of mittens that were purchased when we went to Copenhagen last year. If you enjoy learning about decluttering and minimizing, then please join Minimal Ease by hitting subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends.